Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mixed Media Monday. I am Ophelia and thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, if you're new here, thank you so much for clicking that video to watch what takes part in my art journey. And if you have been here for a while, again, thank you so very much for being a part of the Mixed Media Monday family and the Jerry's Artorama family. Um, I just truly appreciate your time kind comments. I feel as though I am so far behind on um, reading them and responding, but I always do. So I'm coming at you, I promise. Um, but today's video is all about keeping some secrets. And as we have discussed before, this book, whatever you call it, your journal, your sketchbook, um, your keeper of stuffage um is in my opinion it's it's mine and it's usually for my eyes only and i find that it is a very safe place to create whatever it is that i want and say whatever it is that i want to say without being seen out there in the public and um a lot of times i will um show other people my sketchbooks and i always find that I have to like, oh, hold on, don't let, don't look at that part. Um, so today I thought it would be pretty neat to show you a way to keep your secrets or your ideas or your thoughts or your words or all the ugly, um, a true secret in your sketchbook. So if that is something that you're interested in, then you just keep on watching. Alrighty. Okay. So now I've forgotten everything that I was going to do. This is bad. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need, and I'm literally using most of my regular surprise, surprise supplies, um, but um, I always like to start this part with just some water-soluble um, colored pencils or watercolor pencils, and I've got some pulled here. It honestly does not matter as um, it's gonna get covered up and you'll see that in a moment. So I've pulled some colors that I want to go into my color family that I've got of acrylic paints. And I've got Carmine, I've got Indian Yellow. Does anybody else notice that my names have worn off? I've got some light gray, titanium white. Um, and I think I might pull this one back in um, as just like a punch color, but I'm not sure. I'm not punching anybody with color, but just like a, a spice color. And then I've got my um, Sennelier 615. I also have, because you guys probably will notice, this journal page is not prepped yet because that all will come a little bit later after we get our secret down. Um, and so to prep it, I've got some random dictionary pages and old book paper. Um, I've got some gesso and then some matte medium. And um, I've already lost all of, some brushes and such like that, maybe some ink later. But um, what I want to do right now is invite you to just get out that ugly or whatever the thought is or the thing is that you just, it's, it's been weighing you down or maybe it's keeping you from your art or maybe it is that critic that says that you're not good enough or whatever. That's when you get to have a conversation and get all of the things out that we're going to keep a secret. So I always start with just my water soluble um, pencil and I'm going to be the better person and find a sharpener and sharpen it. I'll be right back. I got. I forgot. I forgot to sharpen my pencil. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Meaning, you know what? The angrier you get, the more nervous I get, and the more nervous I get, the slower I get. And then you know what? Then you're back at angry. So maybe. Oh, look at how pretty and sharp that is. I'm gonna sharpen another one. I'll be right back. I'm sorry, Ming. I'm so sorry. All right. Here I go with. Um, and as I said, it doesn't matter what colors that you use as to whether it's going to fall into your color scheme because we're going to cover it all up in a minute. So we're going to fast forward this and I'm going to start writing some ugly. I don't have 
anything ugly to say. Today's been perfect. What should I say? Oh, I don't like me. I'm feeling refreshed. So, I don't know if you guys paid attention when I was writing. Um, I, I do flip my book around and then end up writing over things. If you were to journal at the very end, and if it's, it's something that it just came up and now you're feeling like, oh man, I've got to let this out. One thing that you can do once you're totally finished your page is kind of make up your own um, secret handwriting if that makes sense where you just you start writing and then you go back over it and or you write in like scratchiness what's important here is that you get out whatever it is that's um, bothering you or weighing on you so I've finished my writing um, we don't have an HR department and I won't need legal um, aid after I say all of this um, now, the way that I like to keep mine a secret is there's a couple ways. I can A, take myself a water, a wet brush, and because it is water soluble, I just kind of go for it and it all ends up vanishing, except for the fact that I don't like me. But um, I can kind of activate it all that way. However, I really want this to stay hidden, meaning... Um, what I'm going to do is now prep my journal page so that everything will be covered up anyway. And because some of this red and yellow and orange is going to transfer on my brush, that then becomes the backdrop for my color. So I'm going to go ahead and start prepping my page with some matte medium and start gluing some things down. And let's truly get this secret all covered up. Shall we speed up right now or shall we just go slow? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. So I've got everything covered up. You'll notice now you can't even really see what I wrote. That orange yellow color did transfer over. We're about to now give ourselves a clean slate with some gesso. And um, I always just end up doing a pretty thin layer just because I don't, I want to get the, like the coverage of a gesso, but I don't want to obliterate what's underneath. And so once I get this down and dried, you'll be able to see what I mean. That don't bother me. Nope. Why do I feel like I'm racing? <laughs> I don't, I don't, why? Who, oh wait, I do now know because remember Ming gives me mad looks. Okay. <laughs> I do need to get, it is already 1130, like how is that possible? Time flies when you're with people that are mean. Oh, that's, I forgot. I forgot. Hazard pay. Combat pay. Hazard pay. Which one? Are you being for real? Oh. I was about to say. Okay. Alrighty. So, I've got this covered enough 
where again now all of my words are now all out and um you can't even see it you're not going to be able to call your attorney about it i'm not going to have to pay any legal fees about it the important part though it's out of here onto there and it's covered up so it's i get it out of my head i am going to dry this up so that we can carry on with our secret is there I, I wonder if there is a way that we can do a close-up of this i don't know can we christina I don't, I don't know. You tell me, but like this, can you see it now? I look like just an evil, but what I want you to see is the fact that even though I've put that layer of gesso over it, you can still see the sheet music. You can still read the words. I didn't completely obliterate just with a nice, um, light layer because I do like some of those elements to peek through later on. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start building our background. I'm just gonna start um, building this background of color. And I want to, I am using say a red, a yellow, and some orange and some white, but I just wanna start off by just throwing color down because I don't have any other. I think by now you guys know me well enough that we don't do anything fancy around here. We're just covering the background, um, or I should say getting colored down on this background. And maybe I'll use a little bit of that orange. I'm just kind of making marks on this background um, with my pencil, just smaller marks. Um, I took a smaller brush and just darker of that color. And I don't know why. And I think why maybe is because um, I'm stalling. So I'm just gonna keep on making marks. I'm gonna dry this because I need to come up with some. I'm gonna I'm gonna collect my thoughts as I dry this. This is dry, and I don't know. That's the problem is I'm never. Every time I'm creating something, even if I have an idea in my head, I'm always uncertain as to how to execute it, and then I start overthinking things, and I get very nervous of which. I know this is wrong. If I do this, what if I mess it up? And I, I so that's where my head games start. And um, then I start stalling and then I start overthinking. And these are all things that I always say like, you know what, let's throw that out the window. But yet I still struggle with the, what should I do next? Or am I gonna mess it up or whatever? And when you think about it, um, there's not really a lot of effort in it yet to even mess anything up. Um, so I'm just gonna keep going. And um, I had, okay, we've got a bit of a story time. I don't, um, back before I started, um, or I should say back early on in my art journey, I was a rubber stamper. And then I moved from rubber stamping into an art journal. It just felt like a, a great transition. So I, I, start, I was making cards. Um, and then I started experimenting a whole lot with mixed media in art journals. Um, and I was listening to, yeah, this just turned into a very long story time. Whatever, 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 sorry. But I was listening to a podcast the other day from one of my favorite abstract artists. Her name is um, Betty Krause. And she mentioned that she also had been a rubber stamper who started mixed media art journaling. And when she began, um, now I'm just comfortable in the story. Does, does anybody have a chair or a couch? I feel like I want to sit down and talk. Story time. story time. I'm going to forget where I was in the story. But anywho, she said when she started abstract painting, she threw out all of her mixed media art supplies. And I thought, 
that's where we quit being similar in the story because I there are lots of times when I'm going through my studio and I'm like, oh, I'll never use that again. And I just kind of put it away in a drawer. It is so much fun to start pulling out those drawers whenever I get into a like a funk and just want to spice things up a bit. And I gave you guys that entire story to say I was digging around in my studio and found a, a, a rubber stamp that I've used for a hundred, not a hundred years, that's absurd, but for a very long time. Um, and it's one of my favorites just to put some texture in. Um, and so all that whole story to say, I'm going to put a rubber stamp on this now. Um, and this is just a background stamp that I found in a drawer. And one thing that I always do with my stamps, and this is just, it's a background stamp, so it's pretty large. If I take my red ink, and this is like an archival ink, so it's going to stay permanent. If I were to stamp this and just get it all over my hand, but if I were to stamp this immediately onto this background, it's going to be like a red in your face. So what I want to do is ink it kind of stamp off to get the majority of the ink off and then just give myself the lightest um like hint of color does that even make sense am i am i hey friends am i making any sense so i've got um myself some balls <laughs> can we it's i don't know but what you will be able to know, what am I doing? You'll notice that it's just like, it's not a glaring red in your face, but it all just melts into the background. And that's what I'm after by stamping it off first. Um, and then just using the remaining color. And I've used the stamp and we're still stalling with story times because after that, I don't know what else I'm going to do. So, um... Let's just keep on working with things. Yeah, like, I've got some red here. Let's go for it. And, oh, that's a lot of red. So, I'm gonna wash some of that off. Boom. Yes, yes. I think people use um, it's called glazing medium, which I've not, I don't have any on me, or that might have been a pretty good test, um, to like mix your acrylic paint with some glazing medium and then put it all down and then give it a couple of seconds or however long you think this process might take and then kind of wipe it away so that it just leaves the hint of that color behind, kind of like that, which I didn't have any, so I just used water. Um, and it gives you, oh, what's the word? Um, where are my words today? What's the word where just like a hint of the color is left behind? A glazing of the color. Let's just say a glazing of the color. Um, so whenever I don't have it in, on hand and I want it or I need it for that effect, I will just um, add some water to my acrylic pinks, acrylic pinks, and almost make them more of like a soup consistency, um, just to have that glazed look of color left over. And that's all we got. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. Okay, I'm gonna dry this up for a bit and I'll be right back. What do you call that? Okay, you'll feel your focus. focus. See, this Ming is mad at all of us now. All right, here we go. Um. I am just gonna add a little bit of texture, if you will, with this uh, turquoise paint and the top of my glue. Um, because I want to add another color in, but I'm just, I'm over here again, 
overthinking things because I honestly don't know where to go next. So um, let's just do that. And then you know what? I brought along some washi tape. Um, we're just going to use all the things today. All the things keep our secrets. So I think I'm going to pull a little bit of, no, I'm not going to use washi tape next. You know what I'm going to do next? Next, 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 I am going to, let's add ourselves a, a little bit of a collage sheet. I think the coffee is really kicking in. I am sorry. I got all the thoughts come at once. I want to finish this first. Finish this thought now. Now I'm going to, I'm going to clean this off. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Put that back. Now I'm going to dig through my pile of um, collage sheet things. And there are times when I go to my pile of ephemera and, um, or collage sheets and a, I'm either looking for an image to tell the story because I don't draw. Um, and so some people will use magazine images or such like that. Um, or, okay, that was one time. Or it's just based on color, in all honesty. Like if, if I'm using, if my background, this is a mess, but if my background is like, reds and oranges and yellows. I will find something. This is a mess. I will find something that will look nice with that red, orange, yellow combo. Um, or since I've got some of this turquoise, I wonder what would happen if then I pull in a little bit of turquoise. So this is where I pull out my basket. I start flipping through my piles of um, stuffage um, until I find images that I think are going to work. So I'm going to start digging and we'll speed this up. Alrighty. Okay. So I found the pieces that I want to use and it doesn't have to take this long, but then again, I start fretting over things and fretting over placement. But one thing I do, I just love the look of like old, um, dictionary paper behind some of the elements. So I think I think I'm going to use those and um, I'm going to get this glued down and um, I'll be back so that we can finish this up. order to blend this back in. I've got them glued down. I think I might ditch this. Oh, ooh, ooh. what do you think, me? I don't know. I love it. Do, <laughs> oh my God. But what I think I'm going to do, remember that little soup mixture trick that we just tried where I kind of give like a wash of color? I think I might try that. Now, I, two things are going to happen. Either A, this will like be like oh really pretty or be like oh but let's just do it i don't that's that's what we're here for because remember we shouldn't um we shouldn't fret about things but um i think i just want to mesh this in oh that was oh, i can already feel that this was not a good idea but so we just kind of let it sit for a moment <laughs> and then, oops, we are not using our fingers today. We're being fancy. Um, oh, you know what? I think I'm going to take this tiny brush. Um, I just think it looks better once it's kind of, it looks like 
it's married into it as opposed to just like, oh, look, you glued down a piece of paper. So I'm just doing a few things to make both of these actually look like they're part of the whole background. And I think I'm going to do some yellow. And with that, nope, uh, I got, I got one more thing I want to do. I got, I got 15 more things I want to do with this man. Just, so, two seconds. Two, I'm just, I'm just not done. I'm just, mm -mm. oh wait, we already missed lunch? Bummer. <laughs> See, this is why I have no friends. This is why. B boom done okay all right so with that we're gonna call this done and um a couple of things a whenever i have to do like my secret spilling or spilling open or how whatever we're gonna call it i always will put like one word that relates to the whole spilling or secret um i know what it means and if i flip back to this page 10 years from now and see that one word I immediately know like oh yep that's exactly what was going on so if you need to spill in secret just have a word if you want and I just use um like this FW ink and for this one I just use the nozzle to write if you want to do it with a dip pen or a like a bamboo pen that's fine um but I just had one word that kind of captured all the stuff that's under there um but it's your journal you do you thank you guys so very much for watching today and if you've decided to play along with our um keeping a secret please do visit instagram and um use the hashtag at jerry's artorama that's nope nope use the hashtag mixed media monday at jerry's artorama and ophelia staten i looked myself up it is it's ophelia staten um and just tag us and let us know that you guys are playing along and we'll see you next time bye done yes 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 i'm as finished i'm as finished um um All I know is that all my chins be looking back at you. All my chins. All my chins said, hey, bro. Hey.